In this video, we will see how we can import some text formatted data or some other formatted data to Excel. So for the demo purpose, basically I have on data, which is a not like regular text file data. So if we want to open it using uh, like notepad, basically we'll see. So this type of data is there. So right now it's not properly formatted. Uh, that means basically the whole line is wrapped. If we unwrap it from view, then there is order wrap. If we uncheck that thing, basically we'll see. So this is a table of formatted data and it has a couple of data uh, like column like thing, something like that. So how we can export this type of text data or CSV formatted data, some similar like that uh, in Microsoft Excel. So you will see today. Uh, how we can do that very easily. So at first we need this type of data source. So we already have a data source which is called my report file dot rpt or some text file something is fine. So I'm going to minimize it and then I'm going to open the Excel application. Once the Excel sheet is ready, I mean in which sheet we want to import this data, basically we can start our working. So this is our like desired Excel file. This is a random Excel file I just opened. But uh, inside a new sheet, I am going to import uh, those data from that like text file. Okay, so at first we need to uh, check the data tab from this ribbon. In Microsoft Excel, uh, there is a data tab inside this ribbon. So we just need to click here. And once we click here, then the ribbon menus will be changed. And from here, basically we'll find different options. So one of the options is like get and transform data this section so this section basically it is getting and transforming some data so we already have a data source or data file so this is a text format data file so we want to uh, use this option to import the data inside excel and here we will see different options are there like from text or csv file or from web from table or range and so many things but our goal is to import the data from text or csv file so we have the text file csv and text is almost similar so if we know how to do with the text format data to import here you can do the csv very easily it's the same thing so now what we need to do we just need to click here and then it will open this type of window uh, so now we need to uh, tell excel that this is a data source that means the text file where is the data which we want to import so for my case, the data source is located under downloads and there is a file here, but by default it is not showing because uh, if we check there, uh, the format is RPT something or some other files. That's why it is not showing, but the file name is my report file dot RPT. So here it is not showing. So how can we find that data source? So basically we need to uh, press here this drop down. Uh, it is showing by default only text file. But if we check all files, it will show that thing. So once we change it to all files, then it is showing like my report file dot rpt. This file is there. So basically we need to import uh, data from here. We, we saw that already. There are a couple of data. I mean, there are many uh, records, but there is a couple of uh, like columns. So we will uh, we'll actually import those data inside this Excel. So once we, we just need to select here. Okay, so this is the file basically we need to import. And then finally, we have to create, uh, the, I mean, we have to import this data in this Excel sheet. So I'm going to press this button, import. So once we hit import button, then it will present it uh, like this type of thing. Here we are seeing that a file origin, what type of file it is there. By default, it is this thing that is fine. Basically, we don't need to change any of this thing. And here, if we check carefully that it has, uh, it is showing like the data is the preview has been truncated due to size limit. That means only few records of data, it is visible, but there are many rows, right? Like 20 or 15 rows of record is there. But if you open this, uh, this thing, basically, if you scroll, you will see there are many data. So basically, if we go at the end, we'll see that it has data like almost 20,000 plus probably. Let me check. Yeah, it's 19,974. That means like uh, 20,000 of record is there. Okay. But it is showing only a few lines. 
arbitrary code okay so now we need to import so uh, from this page basically uh, there are a couple of things so load transform cancel okay there are a couple of things so we can actually uh, transform this data and then it will show a final preview like this type of thing uh, data and if we don't need any column then we can also modify that suppose for example uh, this column 3 it has null null or mr mr this type of data or for example suppose uh, this column modified date okay we don't need so basically we can select this column and we can remove this so this column will be deleted from importing or suppose this column this column we don't need we can also remove this thing like column 3 so let's see we don't want to import this column basically that's why we are uh, we need to uh, basically press this button remove column okay and if you drop there you will find different options remove columns or remove other columns okay so i'm going to remove this thing so i'm pressing here and it will be removed see uh, that column already removed okay so uh, that's it guys in this way we can actually format the uh, data and again here it is not showing all the data it is showing only few things but if you scroll it will load the data anyway we are not going to that route so now we are seeing that our data is clear now we can import it okay then here how we can import so basically here basically we need to uh, press this button close and load but if you want to add extra columns sometimes you need you can also do add load or view you can also check this thing but we are not going to that route okay so just press home and then close and load data if you click here you will find close and load and close and load to something like that but here we will actually load this data to this excel sheet like number sheet number two okay so i am going to press this thing and then it will be loaded all the data and here it is getting data source queries and connections okay uh, now we can close it we don't need this so basically what is, what is excel it is doing basically it is importing all the data like each column all the data which we saw in the tabular format like this in this basically this data sheet okay so it is importing like that and now here we also seeing we are also seeing that there is column one to column two like this type of thing okay we can remove this thing or we can hide it by right click and then we can actually uh, clear content or something like that or we can press hide or there is another option basically uh, this thing we don't need so what we can do we can select this thing by clicking here and then here we will find the header row if we uncheck it uh, then the header row will be deleted okay it will not be there and finally now from here explicitly you can delete it okay now this row also we don't need this record set we can also remove it so that it will be clean and finally for easy understanding what we can do we can make it bold we selected here this row and then we can press bold okay so now the data is ready and if you want to change the table style you can also do this thing by pressing table design and from here basically you can choose a style if you don't want any style you can also choose this thing light so there will be no style and but if you want other style you can also choose the table style like for example we want to choose like this type of style it will do like this way anyway so this is the thing basically uh, that's it guys in this way we can easily import the data in excel and after importing the data we can actually modify based on our own requirements suppose we don't if we don't need this row we can remove it or if we don't need this row i mean not row this column we can remove it uh, like this and if we don't need any row we can also manually delete this thing or we can filter this data uh, very easily and all the data whichever it is loaded let me check whether it is going to the same thing or i mean whether it is actually loading all the data or not so i'm going to last uh, last one so basically we are seeing like uh, 19973 so here we saw how many nine seventy two. same data right same thing uh, we removed basically one or two uh, rows right do you remember that first row there is a dash dash sign sign uh, like th that thing we deleted basically we also don't need we can also remove it right click and then delete okay so now the data is clean so most of the time uh, when we import data most of the time like you have to check whether the quality of data is okay or not like sometimes like uh, end of the file there is some information it will also import but basically we don't need those things basically we just need to remove those things manually 
so that's it guys in this way basically we can easily import text file data into microsoft excel and if you have any question or if you face any problem don't forget to mention it in the comment section and after all uh, thanks for watching the video have a nice day